Hi. Hi, do you want to introduce us? Um, I'm Ashley and this is my mom, Tara. Or I call her mom. <laughs> yes, you call me mom. <sighs> Hello, we're happy to be back with you. We hope that you're staying warm. It's chilly out, but we might get some snow this week. That's exciting. We got a little bit yeah. this we got a little bit this week. I hope we get more. We like snow at our house, don't we? Mm, yeah. yeah. So I have been really, really missing you guys. I was thinking um, one night this week, Matthew and I, we were reading before bedtime, and I said to him, I miss seeing everybody at church, and I miss Sunday school, and I was thinking that it's been almost a whole year already since we've been together for Sunday school, and I am not going to believe my eyes when I see how much you've grown and how you've changed. Do you think you've changed in a year? Yeah. <laughs> you have. You've gotten a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hope, as our pastor says, that sooner rather than later we're all back together. I sure hope that. So today I wanted to talk about a specific scripture, and Matthew's going to read it for us, and it's from the Old Testament. So it's from Deuteronomy, and it's Deuteronomy. chapter... I don't know you start again. I'll, I'll show you. It's chapter 33, 33 verse 12. Right. So go ahead. Right there. About the... Benjamin, he said, let the believed. Beloved. But sorry, I always okay. get that one. Of the Lord rest secure in him for the shield. For he. For he shields him all day long okay let's stop right there okay so let the beloved of the lord rest secure in him what do you think that means um i actually don't really Sorry. so you are loved by god aren't you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you are and all of you are the beloved of god he loves you so much and I think part of the reason he loves you so much he created you do you like when you create an art project and you feel like it's really beautiful and really special you want to protect it and take care of it but I also think God loves us not just like an art project I think about how much I love Matthew as his mom I could read this scripture to him. Rest, the, let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him, for he shields him all day long. I know that as Matthew's mom, as much as I want to shield him from every bad thing that could happen and protect him from all harm, I know that I can't do that, right? Because I'm not a superhero, and I'm especially not God. And there are sometimes moments when God, you know, things, ha things are not always perfect. Things go wrong. We have disappointments. And in those moments, there's always a what. What do I always mm. tell you? When things go wrong, what? If we choose, we can choose to be grouchy about it or we can say what? What? Oh, like, we'll kind of like not be mad and try to have a good day, even though stuff is wrong right and sometimes there's a lesson in it yes so this blanket so I want you to think of the scripture where it says that God will shield you all day long can you stand up for us Matthew we're gonna use you so it's hard to picture God's love do you think it's hard to picture God's love because it's hard to 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 visualize it we can't really always see it I think I see God's love in you and I see God's love in creation but when we think of this scripture I want you to think about this just for a moment being God's love so here's Matthew and now Matthew is covered do you see him there he is covered in a blanket and I want you to think about this being God's love, wrapping around you, keeping you tight. We'll let you back out. Thank you. You're welcome. 
So God loves you so much. And even though we can't see him, he's always there, whether you're at school, whether you're at home, whether you're walking in the woods, taking a nice long walk, whether you're having fun, whether you're having a bad day, you can always call upon God, he's there. Now I want you to read this next sentence from Deuteronomy 33, 12. Can you read this right here? Okay. And, and we start with and, and. And the one Lord lives, loves, rests, and one. Whoops, you're on the same sentence. And the one the Lord loves, loves rests between his shoulders. Okay, where are your shoulders? Right here. Okay, so what do you think that means? And the one the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. I don't really, like, this is complicated. It's complicated. Well, that's what I'm trying to do is make it uncomplicated. So we're going to use the blanket again. Okay. So where are your shoulders again? Show us. Yeah. Right there. Okay. So let's have you stand up again. And again, this is God. We're pretending this is God's love and protection. And the one the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. So if God were to wrap himself around you, who's between his shoulders? Me. You. Yes. So in addition to protecting us, who do we know that wears capes? I don't know. Like Superman. Superman. Does <laughs> Captain America wear a cape? No. No. How about Iron Man sort of has a, like a side one, right? Just on one shoulder. No. So what does Superman's cape, is it, does it give I him mean, anything special? I think you're talking about either the Valkyrie or Oh, the Thor. Valkyrie, yeah. Thor. Did I say Iron Man? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I meant, <laughs> that's what I meant. I meant Thor. So their capes, Superman's cape, he can fly and his cape flaps behind him. So... God, oh, I, go ahead. Sorry, I have another person that has a cape. Vision. Vision, yes. Matthew likes the Avengers, uh, if you don't know what he's talking about. Okay, so just like superheroes, like Superman's cape gives him power or strength to fly, perhaps, God's love is resting around you, on your shoulders, giving you strength. The strength that only he can give, the strength of the Holy Spirit, the strength of his love and power, and the strength that sometimes you may not have. Strength to keep going when you feel like stopping, right? You do bluefish. Do you ever feel like, oh my gosh, I want to stop? Yes. Yes. How about when you're at school and maybe things aren't going so well and you want to just put your head down. Does that ever happen? Yes. Yes. So in all of those moments, good or bad, God's always there to Do give you. This way? Nope. God is always there to give you strength. He makes us strong. And I also think as his beloved and the one between his shoulders, he will carry us too. If I was strong enough, I'm not. I would put Matthew up on my shoulders and show you that sometimes in my brain, when I read that scripture, I think about God carrying me, put me up on his back when I just can't take another step. And maybe it's not, it's not that I physically can't take another step, but that I'm tired and that I've had enough and that I need some help. So this week, what I want you to think about, and what I want you to think about, is that God is always there. When you see a blanket, I want you to just Think of the simple reminder of how much God loves you always and will always support you and surround you and protect you. Okay? All right, let's say a prayer. Thank you, God, for this day, for cold, for snow, for seasons that change and share with us the beauty of this earth that you created. Help us to see you all around us in the big things and the little things, in the important the beautiful, and even the boring, or the normal that we don't even notice anymore. Help us to see it all, God. Help us to remember that you are covering us always, that we are your beloved, that you love us so much, and that you will always, always surround us and cover us. Help us to be grateful and to call upon you always, God. In your name we pray. Amen. 
We hope you have a really good week. We miss ya. Bye. Bye.